Well, you mentioned uh, stress in the beginning and you yeah. mentioned adrenal as well. Can you tie in that connection with adrenal thyroid? Yeah, it's really interesting. So what started happening for me in my medical practice was I had so many patients. I see women and kids and so many of the women were coming in and saying, you know, they were coming in with a thyroid problem. And of course, I'm doing a comprehensive, you know, what's going on in your life. And I'm hearing women saying, I just feel like I'm at the end of my rope. I feel like I'm living on fumes. I'm always burnt out. I'm always overwhelmed. So I started looking at the medical and scientific literature on the relationship between the adrenals and the thyroid. Now, they're both part of the endocrine system, right? Like your adrenals, your thyroid, your ovaries. For women, they're all connected. And so I was like, well, what is the connection here? And it's actually really powerful. Cortisol, which we think of as the stress hormone, but I think of it as a survival hormone. It's the only one we actually really, we would die if we didn't have even for a short time. So I think of it as a survival hormone also because it act it gets activated when we're in survival mode, which a lot of people feel like they're living in all the time. So cortisol gets activated to reduce inflammation and help us respond effectively and be resilient in the face of stress. The problem is most of us are producing a lot of cortisol on a regular basis because we're chronically under stress. We're not sleeping well. We have a lot of inflammation as a society we have a high level of people with inflammation. Cortisol has three different ways that it actually blocks the thyroid from working. It blocks the production of TSH. Well, it, it blocks the signaling of TSH to the thyroid. Mm -hmm. So the thyroid can't really read the TSH. When the thyroid can't read the TSH, it's not getting the message to produce, active, to produce thyroid hormone. And the, and the brain's not getting the message that the thyroid's at home, so it keeps producing more. But even if you do produce enough TSH, cortisol, let's say like, you know, you bypass that problem with cortisol, then the next one is that the cortisol actually prevents the liver from converting the inactive form that the thyroid produced to the active form that you need for the thyroid hormone to work in your body. And then even if you manage to bypass that obstacle, then cortisol actually blocks the cell from receiving the thyroid hormone and reading the signal. So think of the thyroid, think of thyroid hormone as a, a, a key and the cell as a lock and cortisol is jamming the lock. You can't even get the lock into the key, the key into the lock. So it can't work. So three different ways that overactive or chronic, overactive adrenals or chronic stress can impact the thyroid. It's pretty amazing. 